for everyone that asketh receiveth somebody there on my right hand everyone somebody in front of me here everyone somebody over there everyone yes at the gallery over there everyone and yes those who are on the internet you are online and you are listening now i rejoice with you everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth you will not seek in vain you will not search in vain and uh, to him that knocketh it shall be opened to him that knocketh it shall be opened you know you have been outside the house and you are coming back you might be a little child you can knock you might be a boy a girl you can knock and you might be a mother a father you can knock or you are coming to that house for the first time but the person inside there loves you and is expecting you you can knock everybody here tonight can knock and when you knock at the door tonight the door is opened unto you hey, look at verse look at verse 9 for what man is there of you if his son shall ask bread will he give him a stone what you are asking tonight is what you are going to get. The miracle you are asking for tonight is what you are going to get. The blessing you are asking for tonight is what you are going to get. Look at verse 10. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? He will not give you something poisonous. What you get tonight will be a blessing upon your life. Verse 11. Verse 11. If he then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children it says if you are a parent think about how you give good things to children anytime you hear that your child is in need you rise up immediately you don't want to see any of your children suffering especially if you have that thing they need and it says god is going to do even much more for you that if you are able to give good gifts to your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give tell me tell me good things to them that do what ask him thank god you are going to ask tonight and miracle in your life healing for the sick deliverance for the oppressed salvation for sinners and blessings for everyone look at matthew chapter 18 verse 18 verily i say unto you anytime jesus used those words verily i say it means this one is unchangeable this one must be fulfilled and he's telling you tonight verily verily there's a verity in your life tonight a certainty in your life tonight all the all the things all the clouds are cleared away because tonight the lord is telling you and he says verily i say unto you whatsoever he shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever he shall bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven why wouldn't you bind all those things disturbing your progress? Why will you not bind all those things infiltrating it's your life? Why will you not bind all those enemies that are determined that they're going to ruin your life? And when you open your mouth tonight and you say, enemy, I bind you, they are bound in heaven. All the hindrances, I stop you. They are stopped in heaven in Jesus' name. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. What authority you have in your mouth tonight? What power you have in your mouth tonight? That everything you lose here on earth, thank God, heaven will support you. Heaven will back you up. And heaven will bind and loose that sin in Jesus' name. Verse 19, again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree, husband and wife, if two of you shall agree, brother and sister, if two of you shall agree, a friend with another friend, 
if two of you shall agree the pastor and the member if any two of you shall agree on earth as touching as touching as touching anything there's no limit to asking tonight it is anything and thank god your prayers are answered if two of you shall agree as touching anything that he shall ask 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 it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven i am blessed tonight i am blessed tonight your doors are open tonight and your prayers are answered tonight and all the failures of the past they are cleared away tonight in jesus name matthew chapter 21 matthew chapter 21 verse 19 and when he saw a fig tree in the way he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only and said unto it and said unto it let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever and presently the fig tree withered away any tree standing in your way not bearing any fruit any tree standing in your way having leaves only and yet is not putting anything into your life anything good is sapping your energy is sapping your money is sapping all the nutrients and yet there's no fruit tonight as you open your mouth and say dry up it is dried up verse 20 and when the disciples saw it you will see it the marvel saying how soon is the fig tree withered away jesus answered and said unto them verily i say unto you if ye have faith and doubt not if ye have faith and doubt not ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree but also if ye shall say to this mountain your time has come if ye shall say to this mountain it's talking about the mountain of problems mountain of sickness mountain of infirmity mountain of challenges mountain of impossibilities in your life if ye shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea it shall be done it shall be done you have a miracle already it shall be done and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer you see that it's, it's waiting for you heaven is waiting for you the lord is waiting for you all you need to do is ask all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive i will receive I have received Ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 now unto him that is able unto him that is able the God we're serving tonight is he able able to save answer able to save able to heal able to deliver able to cleanse the leper able to raise the dead uh, you are not sure is our god able that challenge of your life tonight you see able to roll it away now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or seek according to the power that worketh in us where is the power of god working tonight 
I said, where is the power of God walking tonight? And according to that power, he will go beyond your prayer. He will go beyond your expectation. Everything you are asking, he will do for you. And then he will do exceedingly above, abundantly above all that you ask or seek according to the power that walketh in you. If there's anything inside you there that is disturbing your life, the power will penetrate your life tonight and drive everything away in Jesus' name. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Let me just quickly tell you why it says world without end. There are some people that say that miracles have stopped happening. No miracles again, no healings again, no deliverance again, no answer to pray again. But it says God is still able. And even to the end of the world and beyond the end of the world, you'll continue to answer prayers. Number one, asking in prayer as a child. Number two, appropriating the provision with confidence appropriating the provision with confidence here we need to really understand god is expecting that you know already that as you open your mouth and you ask that he has answered and then there are many people after their prayed, they are sitting back some of them are still crying some of them are still mourning and the lord is waiting for them it says, it's there, take it, it's there, it's yours. I pray you'll appropriate tonight. And let me give you the illustration here in Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15, we're reading from verse 29. Verse 29, it says, Luke chapter 15, verse 29, and he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment, and yet thou never gavest me a kid. Here is a child, here is a son, dutiful, here is a son, obedient, here is his son abiding in the house. Here is his son walking with the father, walking for the father. But he didn't know what he had and couldn't appropriate. He didn't take anything. He was living with complaint and with murmuring. He was living with sorrow. He said, I never transgressed your commandment at any time and you never gave me a key that I might make merry with my friends. You never gave me, look at verse 31, and he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. All that I have is thine. All that I have is thine. He, he had everything. He possessed everything. All the Father had in the mind of the Father, in the understanding of the Father, everything belonged to him. But he was waiting. You never gave me a key. You never gave me anything. The Lord has given you everything. Yeah. What you have to do is to stretch out your hand of faith and grab it and receive it. It is yours already. Yeah. Mark chapter 7 appropriating the provision with confidence mark chapter 7 verse 27 but jesus said unto her let the children first be filled for it is not meet to take the children's bread to cast it to the dogs let the children first be filled the woman was asking for deliverance for her daughter, release for her daughter. And 
Jesus said is the children's bread. Many of the children of Israel did not even know that. The Pharisees did not know that. The Sadducees did not know that. They didn't appropriate. It was theirs. In the mind of Christ, every one of the children of Israel should take healing like breakfast. They should take healing like the provision of their parents because it's the children's bread. Look at this woman. She appropriated it. She said, I'm not going away from here empty-handed. Somebody there, I am not going away from here empty-handed. After all, I'm a child of God. Somebody there, I am a child of God. And I must appropriate what belongs to me. Look at verse 20. Look at verse 28. And she said, she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. He said, I'll take the crumbs. And when the crumbs are falling on the ground, I don't need permission from those who are sitting on the table to take the crumbs. I'll take the crumbs. And then he said unto her, For they say, Go thy way. The devil is gone out of thy daughter. For they say, You know your right. And you know that this is your provision. And that this belongs to you. And because you know that, and because you voice that out, go your way. The devil has no choice. He has to go out from your daughter. Your daughter is delivered tonight. Your son is delivered tonight. Your parents are delivered tonight. Appropriate. Take it because it is yours it is mine it is mine first john chapter 3 verse 21 first john chapter 3 verse 21 beloved if our heart condemn us not then we have confidence toward god I have confidence toward God. I have confidence toward God. You didn't come by accident. You came the right way. And you came to the right place. And the blessing of the Lord is yours tonight in Jesus' name. Anybody having confidence in God there tonight? The Lord confirm it in your life. Verse 22, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Whatsoever we come with that confidence, we come with that trust. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Look at chapter 5, verse 14. Chapter 5, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. And this is the confidence that you have in him tonight. That if we ask anything according to his will, tell me, he has said your prayer. He heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him i have the petitions i desired of him that's the end in your heart when you are coming and you said i'm going to that power night i'm going because of this reason the Lord is going to affirm it, and the Lord is going to confirm it in your life in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 21. 
Genesis chapter 21. In this chapter, in this verse, the verses I'm going to read now, I want to show you that your answer is already there. I didn't say your answer is on the way. I said your answer is already there. Yeah. But you must stretch out your hand and appropriate it. I will get it. In uh, Genesis chapter 21, verse 15, and the water was spent, finished, in the bottle. And she cast the child under one of the shorts, and she went and sat her down over against him a good way, and sit where a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice, tell me, and wept and wept and wept because look at my child there is no water the child is dying of thirst and so i turned my face away from that child crying verse 18 the lord talking to her now arise lift up the latch and hold him in thine hand for I will make him a great nation. I will make you a great nation. But look at verse 19. And God opened her eyes. And God opened her eyes. And God opened her eyes. If your eyes are not open, you'll be crying for nothing. If your eyes are not open, you'll be in despair, despondency. If your eyes are not open, you'll be so discouraged, you want to give up life. If your eyes are not open, you'll think this child will die. Your child will not die. <laughs> Verse 19, and God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water that well of water was so near that well of water was available and there was enough water inside that well to refresh the child and to keep the child alive and she saw a well of water and she went and what did she wait for somebody to come and tell her what to do with the water she appropriated it she saw it. You see it tonight. You see the healing tonight. You see the deliverance tonight. You see the power tonight. And you see the provision tonight. And you don't have to wait for anybody. Now you can appropriate it and stretch forth your hand. You've got it tonight in Jesus' name. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad. And God was with the lad. And he grew, and he dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. Number one, asking in prayer as a child. Number two, appropriating the provision with confidence. Number three, acting like possessors and conquerors. Acting like possessors and conquerors. After you've asked, and then you appropriate, your action will change. Your disposition will change. Your attitude will change. There'll be no sorrow anymore once you appropriate. And there'll be no confusion anymore once you appropriate. And there'll be no depression anymore once you appropriate. There'll be no crying anymore once you appropriate. Acting like possessors and conquerors your action shows you have appropriated i appropriate tonight i take it tonight i said i take it tonight it is yours tonight in jesus name for samuel 
chapter 1. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 10. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so and wept so because she was in need and because she was under a real pressure and a great demand and because she was not happy in her family she didn't have the fruit of the womb and so she wept so and then in verse 13 now Anna she spake in her heart only her lips moved but her voice was not heard therefore Eli thought she had been drunken and Eli said unto her how long wilt thou be drunken put away thy wine up from thee and Anna answered and said no my lord I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink but I poured out my soul before the Lord count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto because of the problem she had complaint because of the problem she had sorrow because of the problem she had grief verse 17 then Eli answered and said go in peace anybody there go in peace go with your answer go with your miracle go with the supernatural power of God go in peace the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him verse 18 verse 18 look at the action of a possessor the action of a conqueror she was crying before she was in bitterness before and she was in grief and sorrow before but now Eli said her prayers were answered and I say your prayers are answered <laughs> verse 18 and she said let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight so the woman went her way she stopped praying because now the answer has come and did eat she wouldn't eat before but now this is action this is the action of faith I believe I wasn't eating because I was sorrowful I wasn't eating because I was in grief I wasn't eating because I was discouraged but now my prayers are answered I said my prayers are answered she did eat and her countenance was no more sad that's the action of a possessor the action of a possessor tonight you are a possessor so your action will be your cheer up your action will be your sing your action will be you are joyful your action will be you are happy it is done i said it is done in your life i said it is done and because of that there's no more sorrow because of that there's no more weeping because of that there's no more complaint it is done second kings i'm reading here from the chapter four second kings chapter four second kings chapter four acting like a possessor acting like a conqueror in second kings chapter four verse 19 and he said unto his father my head my head and he said to a lad 
carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then tell me the gift God has given you will not die. The provision the Lord has given you will not die. And so she knew, she knew this cannot be, this cannot be. This is my bundle of joy. My bundle of joy will not die. This has been my hope. My hope will not die. And this has been the great miracle, the miracle of a great long-awaited testimony. My miracle will not die. My testimony will not die. Look at verse, uh, verse 21. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the doors upon him and went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. Was there sorrow in her voice? Did the husband discover that something terrible, terrific has happened? Did the, the, the husband say, I about the child I sent to you? What happened to him? Did the, the husband say that? Because the woman was talking with the voice of a possessor. My child is alive. Somebody there, my child is alive. Somebody there, my daughter is alive. Somebody there, my gift is alive. And then verse 23, and he said, Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, and she said, that's the possessor, a possessor. The possessor will act, will talk like a real possessor. It shall be well. Then she saddled an ass and said to her, her servant, drive and go for a slack not thy riding for me, except I bid thee. So she went and came to the man of God to Mount Camel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold yonder that Shunammite, run now, I pray thee to meet her and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thine husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, and she answered, you must speak the language of a possessor. The child was still there and nothing had happened to the child. The child appeared to be dead yet, but you know, your child cannot die. Your family cannot perish and your provision will not die. So she said, it is well. Somebody there shout it out. It is well. Verse 36, and he called Gehazi and said, call this Shunammite. So he called her, and when she was coming unto him, he said, take up thy child. Take up thy child. That situation of death was a temporary situation. Now life has come. Resurrection life has come. Miracle life has come. That situation you brought here tonight, it was a temporary thing. Now life has come to you. Miracle has come to you. Power has come to you. In my life, it is well. Any possessor there, I said, in your life, it is well. Obadiah chapter 1, Obadiah chapter 1, 
I'm reading from verse 17, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. That's where you are tonight. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess. And the people of God shall possess their possession. You have it tonight already. Romans chapter 8 verse 37. Romans chapter 8 verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. It's our savior. Through him we're more than conquerors. It's our healer. Through him, we're more than conquerors. He is our deliverer. Through him, we're more than conquerors. Possessors, are they here tonight? Possessors, are they there tonight? Conquerors, are they there tonight? Stand up and put action to what you possess. Put action to what you conquer. You're a conqueror tonight. You're a possessor tonight. Let there be action of conquering. Action of possessing number one ask number two appropriate number three act act it out every blessing you're asking for tonight every miracle you're asking for tonight ask start by asking start by asking start by asking are you sick ask are you tormented ask are you poor? Ask. Are you jobless? Ask. Are you trodden down? Ask. Are you suffering? Ask. Whatever it is you need, ask tonight. Ask tonight. And ask as a child. Not expecting disappointment. Not expecting no. Not expecting failure. You ask the Heavenly Father as a child. Are you sure it will be done? You know it will be done. Your father, your mother, you give good things to your children. How much more? How much more? Shall a father who is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Ask. Mountains to move away, ask. Yokes to be broken, ask. Deliverance to be given unto you, ask. Provision from heaven, ask. Miracle, ask. Whatever the need may be, ask. Tonight is the night of asking and receiving. Asking as a child. Asking as a child, no disappointment. No refusal. Ask him, ask him, ask him. And you ask as a child. And remember that shall God is able, able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us ask him ask him tonight is a night of asking and receiving after asking no more crying after asking no more complaining, after asking no more sorrow, after asking no more dejection, after asking no more doubt, after asking no more unbelief, ask, this is your chance. Ask, this is your chance. It's yours. Whatsoever. 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 It's yours. 
now appropriate appropriate you remember Hagar she was crying and the Lord opened her eyes and the well of water was there and your miracle like an inexhaustible well is there appropriate go there take it now take it now take it now it's yours appropriate appropriate you see that woman it's not try to give the children's bread to dogs and she said yes lord yes lord yes lord even the dogs will take the crumbs under the table it's not even asking for permission to take that already is crumbs under the table appropriate all that i have is yours appropriate is me yours all the time healing yours all the time deliverance yours all the time miracle yours all the time anointing that breaks the yoke yours all the time ask appropriate now act it out let the joy of the lord be your strength act it out move like a new person talk like a possessor stand like a conqueror no it is done act like a possessor act like a conqueror it's done it's done it's done no more complaints it's done no more sorrow it's done no more stabbing yourself i cannot eat i cannot eat because of the grief and the sorrow it's done cheer up you've got it you've got it you've got it rejoice like a conqueror You've got it, smile like a possessor. You've got it, testify like a possessor, like a conqueror. In Jesus' name we pray. I have received. I am a possessor. I am a conqueror. I will talk like a conqueror. I will act like a conqueror. I will smile like a conqueror. I will sing like a conqueror. I got it. I got it. I got it. What is she? What is she there? You got it in Jesus' name. Ask, appropriate, act. Your mountains are gone. Keep up those signs. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you tonight for the assurance you have given us that every prayer has been answered in Jesus' name. Wipe the tears of your people away. Take their sorrow away. Take their griefs away. And every oppression of the devil I command, come out in Jesus' name. And all the mountain of problems that they are presented before you, and they have asked you to remove, Lord, a confirmation in every, every life tonight, in Jesus' name. Mountains, get out in Jesus' name. 
attacks, affliction, get out in Jesus' name. Impossibilities be possible in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every miracle that is needed now from all the people asking you, whatever the miracle may be, do it for every one of them in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. If you're lame, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Hunch back, vanish away in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for those who need miracle children. Lord, grant them their petition. Grant them their answer. Miracle children in Jesus' name. You are concerned for a boy, concerned for a girl, concerned for a son, concerned for a daughter. Lord, I pray you answer their prayers. All those concerns, fulfill them in Jesus' name. You lost somebody. You've been looking for them. Wherever they are now, Spirit of the living God, search them out. Bring them back. And let there be reunion to their families in Jesus' name. You have been waiting for the will of God in marriage. Lord, I pray you open doors for them right now. They have asked. They have sought. They have knocked. Open the door for everyone in Jesus' name. Provision, abundance for the jobless provide for everyone. Lord, I pray there is a verity, a certainty, an assurance in every life tonight. Every prayer has been answered. Every yoke has been broken. Put smile upon every face. Laughter in every mouth. Miracle for everyone. Confirm it in every life, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray.